Hey guys, in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a review on the HyperX Pulsefire Surge mouse. If you like the video today, go ahead and give me a like, uh, leave some comments below, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. Uh, I really appreciate it. Enjoy! Today we have the HyperX Pulsefire Surge gaming mouse. Uh, it says it has dynamic 360 degree uh, RGB lighting effects. Um, on this side, a uh, little bit of information about the mouse itself. Uh, native DPI, that's dots per inch, up to 16,000. So the higher that number is, uh, the further you can get the mouse cursor to move across your screen uh, with minimal movements. So that's a pretty high number. A lot of a lot of them are, are down at you know the 5,000 uh, range that aren't gaming mice. Uh, this one's pretty good. Some of them go up in excess of 20,000. Uh, it has six programmable buttons. Uh, weighs 100 grams. Minimum system requirements. Uh, it does indicate. Uh, that it's Windows. Uh, it doesn't say anything here about Mac, so I'm not sure how that'll go. Uh, and it looks like you have to download the HyperX Ingenuity software uh, in order to program this thing. As far as programming goes, it says easily program lighting, buttons, and sensor performance settings. I'm assuming that's, you know, once you have the software downloaded, it's probably a pretty simple user interface. Um, we can pull it up here. Uh, later on in the video. And then the brand logo uh, and website down here uh, for some stuff on the bottom. Uh, there's some other things. Uh, package contents. You have the, the mouse and the quick start guide uh, which should walk you through uh, getting the software you need and everything else. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it. nice box uh, this is uh, this is a little bit weird it's a little bit awkward to, to get out of here uh, there's some some writing in there on the box you see you probably have to rip the box open uh, in order to, to even to even read it uh, here we have a nice little thing here little service card typical a uh, quick start guide uh, just tells you a little bit about the buttons some different languages uh, just ripped that right open didn't I uh, doesn't matter so the mouse itself get rid of the box uh, looks like a pretty lengthy cord I don't know if it said how long it is on there. Uh, it comes in a little twisty tie here. We'll take that off. Um, it's a fairly long, fairly long cord. It's a nice braided uh, type of cable here. Uh, typical USB connection. It has some plastic uh, on the shiny areas of the mouse here uh, to keep it clean. Uh, your optical sensor down here. Uh, it should just plug in. This would all light up. Uh, and again, programmable. Uh, you can see there's some adjustment buttons here, some buttons on the side. Um, and, you know, the quick clicks and the scroll. Uh, the scroll feels nice on it. So, a uh, little bit on the bottom here. Just give you some information about uh, the mouse itself, model number, uh, power consumption, stuff like that. Okay, so. In the quick start guide that came with the Pulsefire Surge HyperX mouse, uh, it has us going here to hyperxgaming.com slash ingenuity uh, to get the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and go there. Okay, so once here, it takes you to this page here. Uh, I want you to sign up here, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then it wants you to 
do stuff here. So please select your product to download the appropriate software version. Uh, so we're in mouse and we're in the pulse fire surge. Uh, no, thank you. All right, so then it pops this up, uh, HyperX Ingenuity Beta software. We'll go ahead and download that. And my other screen popped up here, so it is downloading and installing now. Okay, so it says it just got installed. I'll go ahead and launch it. And here we go. It looks like this is the thing here. I'm going to go ahead and plug the mouse in. I have not done that yet. All right, popped in right away. And it looks like I can use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it for the rest of this. Uh, so we'll click on there. It says there's an update needed to the mouse here. So I'll go ahead and update the firmware. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on the mouse here. So there's the lights. Looks like you can adjust uh, you know, a bunch of different things. Uh, so that just turned all the lights off to the mouse itself. Uh, you can make them a little bit brighter, a little bit more dim. I'm going to go somewhere right in the middle. I think we'll go right here to 50%. Um, and then the color wheel here. Uh, it looks like it's just cycling through colors right now. There's a speed that it can do. It looks like that's a little faster. That's a little slower. I'm going to go with red. I do not want it to cycle. I'm going to throw that in the trash. Go to add effect. Do solid. Let's see what wave looks like. So it's pretty cool that it shows you up on the screen here uh, what it actually is going to be doing. Uh, and it's doing uh, on the actual mouse what it's doing on the screen. Uh, I do like the solid the best. I just, you know, that's all I want is a solid color. Uh, I don't want to be distracted too much uh, while I'm using it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and dim that down a little bit more to back to 50%. Uh, it didn't seem to make too much of a difference on the mouse itself. Not like it, not like it shows up on the screen. Maybe once I save to mouse. Save that as profile one. Uh, no, didn't make a difference. So, I mean, it's it's still fairly bright on the mouse itself, but uh, I mean, it looks pretty good. As far as the buttons go, uh, you can program some buttons here. It looks like you just hover over it uh, and that'll, that'll give you the ones you can customize. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to do any of that now. Uh, I guess if anything here, click on one. We could say keyboard function. Okay, so yeah, you can type in uh, whatever you want there. Now, I'm not going to save these settings anyway. I uh, will go over to sensor because I do want to change my DPI settings. Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so this is setting the, uh, this is gonna set the three settings uh, that the mouse has internally. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set my lowest to 1500. Uh, I'm gonna set another one uh, right around 6500. And then I'll go ahead and, I guess I could probably just type it in here. And I'll go ahead and set this one to, to nothing, because it won't let me type. Yeah, so I'll set that to 15,000. It says it's 16,000 uh, is the max. So we're going to go ahead and, and just do that. And then it looks like it, you know, it's color coded based off of, of some of those settings. So I'm not quite sure. And it looks like you can add uh, different levels to it. So I'm going to go ahead and save that to the mouse as well. Do profile one. 
And then to change the DPI settings, you can click on the button in the middle of the mouse, uh, and that'll cycle through the three settings that we just set up. Uh, and it changes colors whenever you do that. To adjust the color, uh, you hold the DPI button and hit forward or back button on the side of the mouse. 15,000 barely moving the mouse and it's going clear across the screen so uh, I think this is going to be more my my range that I like here. Um, might even take this down to like 5,000 uh, just because I'm not used to super fast mouse. Uh, I do want something a little bit quicker than, than what I currently have but um, that's a little bit too slow for me so we'll go ahead, <clears throat> go ahead and do that and I'll save that to the mouse here. So it looks like there's a polling rate up here. Uh, that's how often basically uh, the, the computer is going to pay attention to the mouse. Uh, there's your brightness, uh, which it looks like that's actually changing how bright the mouse itself is. Uh, so this, these colors, I noticed this color, whenever you change this setting, it'll flash that color. So it looks like once you do that on the mouse itself, so as I click on the DPI setting button, it looks like it cycles through those. So it's gonna go blue, yellow, green. Uh, I think I might change these colors. Uh, I'm gonna make this yellow uh, more of a green color. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this uh, the yellow. So that's going from the coolest color uh, to the warmest color. So I know um, that they're kind of in order by the color scale as well as I click through uh, my DPI settings for that. So, pretty easy. Uh, looks like it's telling me on the screen there too uh, that, it, that it has changed. So overall, I think this is a pretty nice little mouse. Uh, it feels nice in your hand. It looks nice. The software is easy to use. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is the price. It was $54.99 uh, on Amazon. Got it on sale for $44.99. It looks like it's on sale. Uh, at this point in time as well uh, for like $46.99 or something like that. So that, that price probably changes every now and then uh, as typical for Amazon. But if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.